The Nigerian Meteorological Agency has in the last few months disclosed that the prevailing weather patterns in the country will cause above normal rainfall in about 19 states between August and October this year. And as predicted, most states are already experiencing above normal rainfall with over 500,000 persons already affected. At this emergency meeting with stakeholders to address the flood situation, the National Emergency Management Agency is asking Nigerians to get prepared as neighboring Cameroon has commenced the release of water from its Lagdo Dam and as such will further complicate the situation in Kenji, Jeba and Shiriro Dams which may then spill excess water between now and October. We will continue working with the Nigeria Hydrological Service Agency, NISA, and the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NEMIT, to downscale impact-based weather forecasts to the public as the extreme weather event unfolds. All NEMA staff on leave have been recalled back to the office in view of the present emergency situation. Search and rescue equipment, including those recently inducted, have been deployed to the most affected states. NEMA says it has already deployed search and rescue equipment to worst affected states while calling on governments of frontline states within the flood-prone areas to evacuate affected communities to higher grounds and stockpile adequate emergency supplies ahead of possible flooding this year. Consequently, I want to advise all the governments of the frontline states to move away communities at risk of inundation identify safe higher grounds and evacuation of persons and proposition adequate stockpile of food and non-food items, portable water, hygiene, safety and security to enable them a fair level of comfort during periods of possible displacement. This action becomes necessary as we collectively work towards a lasting solution to the annual threats of floods. Meanwhile, the Director General of the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, Clement Nze, says the progression of flooding or loss of lives could be a source of worry, especially as Cameroon most times fail to notify Nigeria whenever water is being released from the dam, despite an agreement reached between both countries to that effect. 233 local community areas in 32 states and the city, we are placed on red alert. So far, we have been following the trend, like I always say, is a bit quite uh, disturbing that the progression of flooding, destruction, loss of life and property has been quite homogeneous, as if we are being caught on our way. He speaks on ways Nigeria can effectively make use of fresh water that passes through the territory every year. We lose over 200 billion cubic meters of fresh water every year to the Atlantic Ocean. We are advocating conservation that you can do a kind of channelization, do a kind of construction whereby this huge amount of water passing through your territory, you can divert it some kilometers, go and create another city. While pleading with governments of frontline states to start preparing for emergencies, NEMA says not heeding to these warnings will make disaster reduction and management very difficult. Georgina Ndukwezaika, Arise News.